Hey folks, hold on. Yeah, Google, I know. I'll tell them. I promise I won't swear, but I'll give them the information. I'll tell them. Fucking Fanny. <laughs> A sign of things to come. I have lots to share with you. Some exciting news. Some of you may like it. Some of you may hate it. Depends on how you engage with the channel. But welcome, Coach Scott. Another great session for you. Kinetic Cycle Coaching. The place you need to be if you're serious about your fitness on your bike. Serious about your health. About your bike fitting position. Your posture. You're serious about taking longevity serious as you get older. Seriously. How many times can I say serious? Let me ask you this before we go on. If I gave you three wishes or even one wish in terms of your fitness, or let's say happiness, forget it, I'll give you three wishes. Fuck it, I'm generous tonight. I'll give you three wishes. Think about those wishes in the next 20 minutes. What is the thing that would make you most happy if you could have it when you wake up tomorrow? Go to bed, boom, one, two, three. Yes, please, coach. What would make you happy? Really happy, seriously happy, okay? Think about that. I'm going to come back to it because it has got a bearing on what we're going to talk about tonight. What are the best workouts for you? I'm going to take you through a journey, evolution, from when you were born, a little baby, okay, until where you are now. And then I'm going to take you on another journey by the hand and walk you through some workouts, etc. over the next three, six, 12 months, years even, some of you. How do I know that? because I've had people that have been working with me for years and you're about to take yourself on a new journey, okay? Hey, you want to follow me on any other platforms that excite you, okay? I do not have a fans-only page, not yet, okay? I believe there is a market for 53-year-old skinny men, yeah, that speak with a Scottish accent. <laughs> okay, folks, let's uh, jump in to everything. If you're new to the channel, please, Leave a little comment. Where are you joining from? This is a wonderful community, very safe. You can speak what you want and you'll get answered, okay? My channel is all about giving you education based on 30 years of coaching, teaching, experience within the industry, both as an athlete, as a sports scientist, as a teacher and as a coach, as a bike fitter and as a life mentor, as a dad, as a husband, as a brother, as a son, as a motherfucker, sometimes on a hill. Okay, I've got a bit of everything to share and you're all going to get it. Okay, my friends, shall we get into it? Because we have a lot to talk about. Hey, before we go, I'm going to share this link now, school, but I'm going to come back to this at the end because this is a big factor. Don't worry, you can rewind that, but you're going to get that QR code and the link is in the description. If you ain't in school, you ain't going to be no fool, but you are going to be a fool because you need to come and join me there. Let's get on with it, coach. Okay, what I want to talk about uh, is I want to break th things up into certain sections and give you some workouts. These workouts will be expanded inside school and there's different levels of interaction there, okay? I'm going to be sharing over the next week some feedback from some people inside school who have used the basic template alone, the basic template and the progress they've made is phenomenal, okay? Now, workouts make up a small part of your working daily life. Very small. For some people, one hour a day. For some people, 30 minutes. On a long day, it may be two, three, four hours. Over a whole week, it may equate to about 10% of your waking hours. Waking hours, okay? Not your sleeping hours, okay? Think about sleep for a second. Okay, and here's on your wishes. Think about this for a second. What is the purpose of sleep? Think about that, okay? What is the purpose of existence? Fuck me, coach. Yeah, what are you talking about? You're getting a bit deep. What is the purpose of evolution? Okay, as human beings, what are the three things that we require as a species? We need to eat, forage, hunt, okay? Today, I hunt in the supermarket, okay? We need to stay warm, okay? We need to mate. We need to reproduce. So in sleeping, 
Can you hunt? Can you forage? Mm, no. Can I protect myself? Can I ward off attackers in the middle of the night trying to come in and steal my bike? No. Can I mate? Well, it's not been invented yet, but my wife does say half the time I am asleep, but I can. So what's the purpose of sleep? Because as an evolution metric, it's absolutely useless. Okay? It's as useless. Okay? <laughs> I was going to say something rude there, but come on. Google's already warned me several times. Think about that. Well, coach, it's about recovery. The body needs this recharge. How sleep impacted on you in terms of thinking about the best workouts for you? The time of the day, the type of the workout and how it impacts on your sleep. Because if sleep pays, pays no role for evolution of a species, because we can't do the key things while we're sleeping, then it's got to have a really important role for existence and our health. Of course it has. We all know that. Okay. Second question. How many of you have got a pension? Maybe you are already a pensioner and you cash it in every single week. Okay, you run down to the Bowls Club and you have a few glasses of whiskey at half price. You need to Google that for those of you who don't live in Scotland. Okay. Have you got a health pension? Not, not health insurance. How much do you invest right now in your health for your pension? When, when you retire, when you stop work? You don't know what I mean. What you are doing now to increase your longevity of motion. Ah, you're going to talk about workouts though, coach. You're going to help us. Of course I am. But think about this right this second. You may be 32 years old. You may be 43. You may be 53. Fucking great age. <laughs> what are you doing for your health pension? You're worrying about squirreling money away. You're hiding it under the floorboards. You're avoiding the tax man. You're putting it into... I was going to say putting it into your post office fund. My God, coach, you're showing your age now. But the thing is, very few people think about it until it's too late. I'm only in my 30s. I don't need to worry about that, coach. You should do. Okay? You get to my age, more and more time is invested in it. But we've got to sow the seeds. Lay the seeds early on. So the workouts are key. So you're thinking about what's going to make you happy? And you're thinking about your health pension, yeah? And you're thinking about sleep. Jesus, it plays no role in human evolution. No. It's important for other things. Okay, should we dive into some workouts? Yes, coach, please. You're boring the hell out of us. Okay. Why have I started with speed? Hmm. Let me take you through a journey. What happens when you're born? Day one. You can't remember? Of course you can. not But did you know that your cardiovascular system is starting to break down. Of course it's developing, of course it is. But really from the early phases, when we start school, when we start high school, our cardiovascular system is actually under attack and it's breaking down, it's getting disease. What's the number one killer in the world? Cardiac, okay, cardiovascular issues. Okay, capillary, blood flow, heart, heart disease. Right, so, Let's take an athlete's journey. So, coach is back in his prime, working with elite athletes. The time of 30 years old. Okay, 30 years old, what happens? Speed. Speed decreases. It doesn't matter how much type 2 fibres you've got or type 1. Your type 2 are very important for that fast contraction. They start to slow down in terms of the speed of their contraction. In terms of their availability of neuromuscular may have been developed massively during our 20s. We've been a sprinter, we've been an Olympic champion. Great, we can still access that. However, at 30, that's it, folks. There's a slight downhill on the speed. At 40, that rolls around super quick. Every fucker in the world tells you, hey, life begins at 40. You're looking in the mirror wondering, where the shit did this pot belly come from? What is that behind me every time I see the mirror? It's your ass and it's just doubled in size. But at 40, you're losing lean tissue. You're losing muscle. So you're putting on more fat. You're not changing many of the habits. And at 50, holy shit, you can't even remember where you put your car keys. Never mind your own fucking telephone number. You're up shit creek. Your information process is starting to slow down. Your memory's starting to decay. And then from 60 onwards, 
Well, it's a battle, isn't it? However, the cardiovascular system, it signed off long ago. Christ, for us men, your bone strength started to decrease when you were about 19, 20 years old. Women, I'm afraid, that's one where we've got one up on you. You're started to decay and decrease at the age of 14 or 15. So without a proper investment into your health pension from a young age, you're in trouble, okay? But you're not really, because I'm going to help you. So think about those processes. So the first key workouts that you should be doing attack speed. So as you get fitter, I would have you do a program of anaerobic work. And this is something that we're going to share inside school, how we use peak power, five second power, 10 second power, and even 20 second efforts. Okay, and the decline of the power in the 20 seconds. So how much fuel has your muscle got? Five seconds, okay? And in that five seconds, we can measure your peak power, that one-off number. How high can you hit? That number can give you an indication genetically where you are as a type 2, type 1 fibre athlete. For men, over 1,000, you've got a few more than average. For women, over 800, you've got a few more than average. For men, over 1,400, you've got a lot more than average. For women, over 1,000, you've got a lot more than average. And you know that already because at, at junior school, you won the egg and spoon race. Yes! And some of you were super special. You won the cross country as well. <gasps> The champion fibre, maybe one in a hundred. Hmm, yeah, some of you on this have got it, okay? But the thing is, it's starting to de decay as soon as we get to 30. Now, you may put your hand up and say, Scott, I never had any speed. Well, a slow twitch fibre athlete type 1 is going to have some level of speed, okay? Because even a slow twitch fibre is what we want in endurance events anyway, can still contract at around about 95 to 100 RPMs even though you're only spinning the pedals maybe at 75 to 85. So there's still some element of velocity there. But it's going to decline, and that decline path is going to be dictated by your lifestyle and how much exposure to sport, etc. you've had, or exercise, sorry, not sport. I want you to think of concepts of longevity and what my kinetic idea is. Now, the whole Let's give you a little story. So the whole idea of kinetic cycling coaching, when I started, when I felt sick and I was going to go full-time coaching and I was deviating away from some teaching and other work, kinetic is the potential that we have, that kinetic energy. Now, I always believed everybody has potential and some of them are too scared to risk. They're too scared to go outside their comfort zone. Then along comes DNA testing and I can share information about the warrior and the warrior. We all have an element of the warrior. And if we dive into it, dial into it, focus into it, we can unleash incredible powers, superpowers that you have. And if you're able to commit to a workout, access your little attic space, as we say, in your mindset, fuck, the doors that open are amazing. You can blow the hinges off of the biggest safe in the world and access what's in there, okay? So the idea is that with kinetic is this kinetic potential for motion. You, as an athlete, as a human being, I want to show you how you can improve your kinetic motion, your longevity of motion. It's not about doing things so you can live longer. It's about doing things so you can live better. You can be more active. Christ, we live... 2020s now, they got fucking medicines that can keep you half dead, half alive for years. Now, in me, I want to be making sure that I access my full capacity of motion before I cash in my chips, okay? And we do this with specific key workouts and an approach to our lifestyle. So speed is important. If you're not doing speed efforts, okay, get yourself in school and we'll show you how to do Speed testing, a anaerobic testing. Really empty that cell. You've got about five seconds of fuel there. That's all we need to do. Empty it, and the deeper we empty it, the better the refill. So the more money you spend in your bank, okay, the quicker we're going to fill it up. Yeah, that's a concept and a half, isn't it? I'm pretty good at spending, coach. Not very good at saving. 
But in athletic terms, if we empty that, we can really... I'm not talking about hit training. I'm talking about dirty, hard, sweaty spin sessions that really melt the crank. Seven seconds. And then we're going to do some 20 seconds. Start at high power and rinse out the well. Empty it. Some of you are going to do them with me in the live workouts. And we're going to play a game. Yeah, I've created a game whereby you level up with your peak power. And the way that we play this, I'll give you a little summary. So some of you who will say, I'm not going to go and join his channel, but I'll take all the shit that he talks about. What you do is you take a percentage, a high percentage. I'll let you decide what that is of where your peak power is. And then you try and hit that as many times as possible. You will start to fade. And that's the level you're at. Let's say you can do it four times in your workout. You're at level four. Come back. How many times? I wouldn't do these workouts more than every two weeks. Hmm. Not very much. Or we add a couple of sessions, a couple of little short sessions, maybe at the end of a long ride over a weekend. You are not improving your sprinting ability. You are improving your kinetic potential to sprint better. You cannot change a slow twitch into a fast twitch fiber. You can only activate more fast twitch. But anaerobic work is a fantastic booster for your aerobic capacity. Okay? Speed. Everybody should be on it because there's a transfer to some of the other workouts. Now, your core workouts are high intensity intervals. 20 to 30 to 40 seconds. I dial into the 20 and the 30 mainly, and you should be doing these within your program. Maybe one a week for three weeks, week off, you do your little anaerobic one. Maybe you only do that once every four weeks and you test where your peak power's at. But your hit, high intensity intervals, worked at a one to one or a two to one. Uh, so 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, 30 on, 30 off, 30 on, 20 off. You're trying to manipulate 20 minutes of VO2, zone five work inside a workout. At least once a week. I've shared lots of workouts. If you come into school, you will see developing a classroom for kinetic sessions that you can access uh, within a VO2 plan, within a speed plan, all that, okay? They will be getting dropped in over the next few weeks and they will be accessible uh, for members. All good. But that high intensity is super important. I would advise us, okay, to stay away for a period of time of those long threshold FTP builder sessions, they say eight, 10 minutes at your threshold level, unless you're going out racing, unless you're involved in high level performance, okay? Because you don't need them if you're massively pushing your health and fitness and you want to do grand fondos, for example. And I would do this work now, UK, Northern Hemisphere, autumn, winter, we're going to blow the VO2 up, okay, because we'll come back to this in a second, but remember, the VO2, if you are in the 46 to 55 category, you need to have your VO2 at the 26 to 35, we need to join the 1% club, if you want to be part of Kinetic, you're going to be in that 1%, because if we can put your cardiovascular system in the 1%, we give you a better chance at longevity of motion, okay? Uh, just to show that I am not uh, sexist, that's men. That's women. Was that okay? Women, 46 to 55, greater than 40, but I want you greater than 52. Men, greater than 45, I want you greater than 56. Okay, any of you in that already? You can leave a comment if you are. Okay, get back to the main chat, coach. Right, the third key workouts you should be doing every single week, your zone two. So your hit workout, imagine it as it's a diamond. You're a man like me, you've saved up for about 57 years, okay? That's, I was saving up when I was an embryo and even before then to afford the diamond. If you've got this diamond, you're going to package it. You're going to fucking make sure you use the best courier and you package it all up. Your zone two is how you package your fitness. I mean, it's so important. You're using your heart rate numbers. You know your power numbers. You're dictating where the route is. And here's the secret. If you're doing a zone two ride and you're in a group, 
you're not. End of. There's no debate, you're not. No group can come together and one person can say, Excuse me, I'm doing a zone too, right? I would like every body just to go with my intensity, please. The group will say, fuck off, Gerard. Catch up. We'll wait for you at the cafe, okay? <laughs> he might not be called Gerard, okay? He might be called Scott. But the thing is, your group ride becomes a key workout. It may come become a harder workout and you taper that in. I see so many people make a mistake with this. Hey, I've got two high intensity workouts during the week. Then my group ride coach. It's a steady ride. It's never a steady ride, especially if it's men, because they will pull down their lycra, get their willy out and measure it against their stem. And if it's longer than their stem, they will tell you. Does that still happen? I'm only joking. It becomes what we call willy measuring. There's people now turning off. Google's on the phone. I said Willie, not Dick. Okay, sorry. Demonetized. Is there like it's in the what's it called the the movie? Good morning, Vietnam. He's in the demonetized zone. <laughs> Demilitarized. I know it is. I know it is. You don't have to tell me. Okay, you got the idea. So what you do is you create an ambience of mindset. It's a group ride. I want it to be zone two, however, it's not going to be. It's a key workout and I'll take it as it comes, okay? If you're not doing zone two correctly, you're not going to progress. You're not going to progress your cardiovascular system. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean the capillary network, the development, because what's happening as you get older? Anyone got poor circulation? Anyone got poor circulation runs in the family? Maybe you're in your 20s watching this right now thinking, what the hell's going on here? Ask around. Yeah. You don't visit your grandmother, you tosser. Get around there now, okay? Go and visit her and ask her, hey, gran, are your fingers falling off yet? Right? Are your toes going black? Have you got circulation problems? Because I need to develop my circulation. I need to increase my mitochondrial efficiency. I need to activate more alveoli. I need to turn back what natural time on this planet is going to do to my cardiovascular system. Did you know? Okay, true story. For those of you who are involved in this sort of profession, you'll know. So I'm going to be very liberal on the terms. Death certificate. Let's say death certificate comes up and it's, you know, man walking down the street and in the UK we have lots of bookmakers. Yeah, where you place a bet, yeah? And let's say the sign falls off the bookmakers and hits him on the head and he dies. Ugh. Terrible. You know, the family are distraught. The bookmakers don't even give them compensation. But on his death certificate, it says, death by the letter B fell on his head from a, a sign. Okay? <laughs> they will look at his cardiovascular health. And guess what they will find? Regardless of what age, there will be some level of deterioration. It may be plaque on the vessels that's constricting the pathway of blood. There will be some form of degradation. Yes. Okay. Yes, there will be. Right? At any age. Amazing. Okay. But this happens. So your capillary network. Yeah. Two and a half times around the world. Remember, two and a half times around the world. Holy shit. That's more than some of you cycle, okay? In a year or forever. Go and check your Strava. Go and check Google. I, I forget the actual distance around the world, but I know that your cardiovascular system will roughly do that. But sending blood through that whole network, nourishing. Think of your body's muscles like farmer's fields growing the most wonderful crops of oxygen. And you've got to feed them with oxygen. But you can't reach half them because you're condensing, condensing your cardiovascular system. Okay? So, your zone two is not just about moving your power in your heart rate. It's not about getting 200 watts. It's not about riding at three watts per kilogram. It's about investment in your health pension. Very, very important. Okay? And if you can work it out about 80 to 90% of your weekly total, great. No problem, okay? You'll still make progress. Right, one of the most important ones that everybody forgets, strength, okay? So, 
if we're doing the speed work, your strength's going up anyway, isn't it? You're accessing that bigger torque, okay? Then there's work that you'll do. Again, we will do the low cadence and the high cadence strength works in the live workouts for those of you who are in the university page of the community. But your strength is a daily ritual. It's a daily routine. Why? Because you're sitting up right now. Okay, go look out the window or check out elderly people, older than me, that is, people who are all crunched over, they're all hunched up. What's going on? Oh, they've got poor posture, coach. Okay, somebody bent their spine in the middle of the night. <clears throat> okay, muscular loss. When did it happen? This is a quiz. Age? 40 for most. That's when it's really kicking in. You're losing that lean tissue. Okay, and for women, I feel sorry for you for this because you're starting with less anyway. Your fat and muscle tissue is, if it's level with each other, then it's in a good place. But a lot of men, you've got more fat than lean tissue. And that's only going to get worse if you do not dial into your muscle tone. We're not talking about putting muscle on, getting into the gym and looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger. We're talking about muscle tone, fiber recruitment, body resistance, posture work. Okay? Here's a fact for you. This one's going to blow your mind. I'll do a little short video on this. So as a bike fitter, did you know that a bike, the way it's designed, it's going to balance Hands up, who can cycle a bike with their hands off the handlebars? Yeah? Been doing it since I was a young kid, right? On my BMX. Fallen off a few times, yeah? I once had a terrible thought of taking my hands off the handlebars, cycling down Les Arcs in France at 100 kilometers an hour. I know, I'm a, I'm a prick, okay? I didn't do it but it was going through my head, right? <laughs> Could I do it? No. The thing is, your bike at a speed of eight miles an hour and over can balance itself. It doesn't need you. It only needs you to turn the corners, but it will balance itself, okay? So when you go on your bike, you are the person that upsets the balance because you are not symmetrical, you're asymmetrical, you've got a dominant side. For me, it's my right hand, stronger than my left hand, so I will write with my right hand. You've got a dominant leg. You will lead with one eye, probably. The same eye that you've got the dominant hand. If you haven't, you might have some bilateral transfer issues. You may know about this, dyslexia, dyspraxia, other things, okay? But the thing is, you are not symmetrical. When you put your two feet in the cleats, you've got them lined up the same. You might have one foot longer than the other. One ankle's had an injury. One leg's a little bit shorter than the other, but it's not the leg, it's the muscular tightness. You've developed your quadriceps and your hip flexors are tight. One hamstring got torn when you were 18 years old, when you fell over coming out the pub. There are things going on in your body that upset the bike's ability to go. I do little tasks with people. What level of rider are you in terms of your bike? Are you a $10,000 bike rider or are you a $1,000 bike rider? And what I mean by that is your ability to flow, let the bike flow. People who can access a high level of feel on the bike because they've got good postural strength, the bike goes quicker without them necessarily having to travel faster. Yeah, there are lots of things in terms of the kinetic flow of energy through the body when we tense up, okay? When we tense our body, we jam and we reduce what we call lactic flushing. And that sometimes just comes from sheer confidence in your balance on the machine. Yeah, very, very simple drills that we will do to improve that inside the community. There's a lot of chat, Coach, about you talking about this community. Well, it'll all be made clear very, very soon. So strength work, postural work. So posture work whereby you are working on the key muscle groups that just allow you to sit up straight, walk. Well, postural health is fundamental to the basic functioning that an individual has day to day. Remember, fitness, I've told you before, your ability to cope with the demands of the environment. Not about going up a hill and having the KOM, how you function in the, the day. So if you're sitting in a desk all day and your neck's getting sore and your arms are getting sore, okay, you're sick and tired uh, of aches in your ass, you're functionally not fit enough. 
get through the day. So never mind having a bike ride. But if you increase your muscle tone, therefore your percentage of lean tissue that's active, you change your metabolic rate. So you change your calorie burn at rest and you actually start eating into the stores of fat because you're smart with your nutrition. You're really clever, okay? Dead simple. So let's run through that again. You should be doing speed workouts. You should know if you've got a power meter what your peak power is. That's that highest number, not your five second, not your 10 second, your peak power. Play a little game. We try and hit that, hit that at a percentage and we level that up. We try and do that workout maybe once a week, once a fortnight. For some people, even once a month is okay. We do what's called the seven deadly sins. That is seven seconds, seven times in a workout. Sounds easy. It's horrendous, okay? It's very, very hard, right? It'll burn calories like you've never seen before if you get it right. We then move on to high intensity work. That's your VO2 aiming to get 20 minutes at zone five through 20, 30 or 40 second intervals, okay? Then we move on to the zone two work. The most beautiful aerobic bubble wrapping for the diamond that is the high intensity work. And that makes up the bulk of your workouts. And there are two ways to build this for a basic way. The first one is touch points, whereby you can recover from a softer touch point, 40, 60 minutes. And then there is longer rides with more recovery. So whereby you have time, you start to increase the one-off session, 90 minutes, two hours, and so on. There is no magic number. Please understand that, okay? Sure, people say, oh, you've got to do four hours. That is an old phrase whereby we're trying to fatigue the overused fibers. Everybody has that neurological pathway to those fibers that work all the time. And when they become fatigued, we have to reach out and get more, okay? But we're talking about people that are training for 12, 15, 20 hours a week before we want to go there. What you can't recover from, there's no point doing it, okay? There's no such thing as overtraining, there's overreaching. And that's when psychologically, you've fucked up your training. You're pushing too hard for what you can actually do, right? You're being fed lies by your mindset, right? So very, very important, okay, that we follow that. And then the posture work, it could, let me ask you this, can you do 10 push-ups? Yeah? No? Okay, I don't care because I believe everyone can, even if you put your knees on the ground. So can you do it every day for the rest of your life? No, you haven't got time. Who are you kidding? Who are you lying to? Okay, think about it. If I do 10 every single day and then next week I do 20 every single day, the next week I'll do 25, the next week, and then by the time I get to 50, I'll take two days off and I'll do 55. I'll do the Monday to Friday, I'll take Saturday off, then I'll do three days, and I'll take a day off. And you can do it every day, every single day, okay? Can you do 20 squats, body squats, every day? It doesn't take more than two to three minutes to do, okay? It's about behavioral responses. It's about understanding that you've got this fantastic opportunity for longevity of motion. And you should be investing in it now like you are with your pension. Okay, right. You've kind of blethered on there a bit, coach. Right, let me uh, open up this. Okay, so I've got some news, right? So what's happened is Kinetic as, a, as an entity, as a business, has been full virtually all of 2023. So my capacity to do what I love, what I'm passionate about, coaching, and bike fitting. I've had to stop bike fitting. I haven't had time. I've opened up the doors. And even though I'm not on Facebook and I'm not doing much on any other platform, and even though my YouTube is not that big, it's only 60,000. I think that's that's a lot. It's not like any of the other huge channels, but I'm a very engaged, caring, passionate, loving husband and coach, okay? <laughs> but the thing is, I can't continue in the same direction as I am now. So what I am doing right now is I'm putting a big hand out there and I'm recruiting, I'm bringing people into Team Kinetic, people who have skills in certain areas that 
I find boring or difficult to focus on. So these are areas that will allow me to reach a bigger audience. They will allow me to do more coaching. So what I'm going to do, this will be the last Live Monday show for some time. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, fanny coach. What will happen is I will be breaking up my content and I will be putting it in school. I will come on to YouTube live in a less frequent period. And I will then exchange uh, videos more often, shorter ones. And I will share with you. And all communication pathways will lead you towards certain videos that I want you to watch to give you information about particular training plans, particular goals, uh, that you may have and help you that way, but also bring you into school where I will have live interactions, but I can do them not only on YouTube, I can do them on Zoom. I can do them within my stream yard where I can interview you, where you can actually participate. I can see you. Now, this is important because part of my longevity in motion project, some of you watching right now, you'll be part of the first uh, classroom. You, I, I, I assure you'll be invited and some of you will take up the opportunity. One of the key things for motivation uh, drivers is that community aspect, is friendship, okay? The neurological uh, pathways that you create every single day are super important. As a, let's say as an older athlete over the age of 50 and someone who struggles with a disease in terms of my ulcerative colitis, in terms of my broken neck problems, in terms of my lack of eyesight uh, in one eye. These are things that are motivators for me, but my ability, especially, I believe, and I can't say this for sure because sure enough, tomorrow I could be in hospital, but the way that I live my life and the way that I have dedicated certain aspects of physical and mental training has allowed me to still function with a disease that limits the absorption of food that I can actually do. And I want to share that with you. I've got the experience, I've got the knowledge, but some of you will get access to that and you will enjoy it, okay? You will enjoy it. And I'll put you in the 1% club for sure, both physically and mentally. But that community is important to me. And although we've got the community here on YouTube and I love it and you've been a real help to me, I've had to lose, invested all my savings in 2020 in a new studio. And then three months later, the government phones up and says, hey, you have to shut down, you fanny. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, there's a COVID vow, whatever it was, right? Remember that, terrible, but, but we still move forward and I'm moving forward onto bigger things. Now, I'm not going away from YouTube. In fact, I'm going to do more on YouTube, but I'm going to do it in a different way. These sessions will be broken up and they will exist inside school. That's where they'll be because I can therefore allow some of it to go behind a paywall, a very small paywall that allows me to start actually uh, looking after my own family. Remember, a lot of these videos that I do and they have millions of views totted up over three years, Google will demonetize me all the time because I fucking swear, okay? Or someone complains about the nature of what I'm trying to say. I'm actually, believe it or not, fairly intelligent guy. I know what I'm doing, but I take life as seriously as it needs to be. But I have what we call the white line concept. As soon as I cross that white line and I enter the battlefield, you will never meet somebody more professional or serious at doing the job. So when a client works with me, they get me, okay, 100%. Right? My personality is what it is. It's got me into a lot of trouble over the years, but I'm not going to change it. And I'm not going to change it for YouTube. And this goes out to people at GCN. Some of you probably watched that. Who contacted me? Will you do the, the? Probably not, because I don't fit into that mold. I've got lots I want to share. And we're going to be doing, especially with the longevity of motion. I've already got a number of interviews lined up with people who have excelled at the highest level over the age of 40, over the age of 50, over the age of 60. 
doctors who you may know from YouTube as well inside that. We're going to do things a little bit different. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I hope you are, okay, because I've shared the, the school community there. That's the first place where you'll access the free community. But don't please be turning your nose up thinking, oh, I knew it, he's going to make everything highly paid. It's not. My community will offer you a free template Actually, I'm going to hold back from it because it's not available yet. But you're going to get templates of training, nutrition templates, live workouts, live Q&As. It's not going to be, I mean, it's going to be very, very little sum of money. It's just enough to put a door in the way and protect my own time and protect my own health. Okay. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it does. And if you don't think it makes sense, fuck off. Hey, it's not for you. I don't care. And you don't care either. Okay, but I'm a very passionate person and I love what I do and I want to do it more and more. And the only way I can do that now is to try and monetize some of my time. If you support that, you'll come and join me. Have a look at some of the things you're spending your money on and have a look at some of the value I will offer you. Anyway, I hope you are all good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off, not do any Q&As because the next Q&A is going to be inside uh, of my school platform. Okay, and I'm going to speak to them first. Okay, but my course, I mean, I'm excited, excited. You can tell I'm excited by it because I've spent a lot of time and putting it together. And I promise you, if you were on a live room with me and some others, I can improve your accountability. Okay, and if I can improve your mindset and the way that you think about yourself, the confidence that you have in yourself, and actually to look through all the shit that goes on in life and you can actually see, hey, this is my role, this is who I am and this is how I can make it better. From fitness and health, you can be outstanding so you can. You can be an outstanding, productive individual and I'm talking about in all areas. I have helped people move careers. I've helped people in their relationships. Not only put them in national jerseys and going to Olympic Games, that's all been done. I want to use what I've done and seen the trends, seen what we can do. Okay, there are no barriers, I promise you. There are only obstacles that we can create strategies to get over. And if you're one of those unfortunate people who's sitting there thinking, well, my back's screwed, I've got a bad neck, I've got this disease, it's a fucking gift, so it is, because it's gonna make you appreciate the good days. Because life is 99% suck and 1% glory. And those people that can take the suck, that sounds rude, I know. I've just heard that in my own voice there, own head. But those who can take that, you'll make the progress, my friends. I'll see you all in that group, okay? Now, please, communicate with me, whatever means you can. If you've got any questions or you're unsure about what I'm saying, but we will still appear live, maybe once a month. Okay, I come on and I've got... a type of variety show for you, where we do reviews, where we do little updates on what's happening fitness-wise, and I'll share research with you. Do it in a different way, rather than me just spout on at you. This is not a cult, although it'd make a fucking good one, wouldn't it? <laughs> now, I want you to watch out for some other things if you're interested. Virtual club. Kinetic is now on Strava. It is a club. That's going to be the foundation for a virtual club. Many of you are going to be awarded with a kinetic cycling cloth cap. Not like a baseball cap, a cloth cap. And we're going to have a competition where we're going to put these caps in as many countries around the world as we can. I want them in every continent first, and then we're going to go as many countries. And you're going to be awarded them for your contributions within school. Okay? And then this virtual club will allow you to communicate with people there is people already in the community who have just realised that there are people in their own town, their own village, and they're now cycling together that they didn't even know, and the community allowed them to connect. Okay, folks, I think I've said enough. I really hope uh, that you're all good, okay? And please stay in touch. You're going to see me a lot, and if you join school, you'll see me live more often, okay? Oh, I feel a little bit emotional, okay? Three years we've been on this every Monday. Three years and a bit. Yeah, three years since Easter. It's been good. And it's still going to continue. So please, bear with me. 
I hope you've liked this video. Give it a thumbs up. That really does matter. If you want to make any contribution, I'm not after a financial contribution from everyone. You just give a thumbs up. You, sh you see a video, you make a little comment, okay? If you make a dick comment, my admin team just removed. They don't even tell me, okay? Not everybody likes everybody. The world would be a crazy place. I want to attract people, okay, that have similar outlook like me. Your health pushes up your fitness. I can make you fit super easy, but I want to impact on your lifestyle as well. Hey folks, you take care and I'll see you all soon.